Australians use a staggering 10 million plastic bags every day and many of these end up in our waterways. Our marine environment has become so polluted with plastic that even a three-week-old green turtle hatchling has already ingested the deadly materials, mistaking it for jellyfish. Andrew was found on a central coast beach covered in sand, lying on his back and immobile. He weighed only 56 grams. The tiny hatchling was brought to Taronga Zoo's wildlife hospital and treated for plastic ingestion and bite injuries to his rear flipper. When Andrew came in, he was found on a beach upside down and in pretty weak condition. But after he started to eat a little bit and started passing feces, we did see that some plastic was coming through his, his, in his feces. So a turtle that small, a little hatchling, is already consuming plastics out in the ocean. So that was quite a surprise. After 16 months of care at Taronga, Andrew now weighs over nine kilograms. He's graduated to this deep water tank in preparation for his release back to the wild. So unfortunately, we're seeing increasing incidents of marine debris, particularly plastic, in all the marine animals that we see at the Wildlife Hospital. So it's a really sad thing. Australians have a love of plastic bags, which ends up in our waterways and in our oceans. But the really great thing is that we can all do something about that by using multi-use bags for shopping and not using single-use plastic bags. So when Andrew is released into the ocean, I'll be attaching a, a small satellite tracker to his carapace and we're hoping to monitor Andrew and see where he travels in the ocean. One of the mysteries about turtles is that no one knows where juvenile turtles go once they leave their, their nesting beaches. So we're hoping that Andrew can answer some of those questions for us. Today's a very exciting day. We're taking Andrew out and returning him to the wild, putting him in the ocean. So at Taronga we've done everything we possibly can to get him well and fit for his survival, but we really need your help. So for everyone can help by not using single-use plastic bags and doing everything that they can to stop any more plastic getting into the ocean. With the tracker in place, Andrew is ready to explore the wild seas and share a valuable story about where turtles go once they leave their nests. It's thought that only one in 1,000 hatchlings survive to adulthood, and we're hoping that Andrew will be one of those. <laughs>